What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, I hit Legend in Go Battle League in Master League for the first time. Every single season beforehand, I either hit it in Ultra or Great League, but this time I dove into the Master League hard to find myself a team that I could use to climb in rating, and that's exactly what we did. I was in the 2600s for a while because of the Ultra League and Ultra League Remix Cup. I was kind of struggling for a while, and then once Master League hit, I focused in, got myself a solid team right here, and climbed up to Legend. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles. Um, this premise behind this team is Garchomp with Dragon Tail and Sand Tomb does phenomenal against the meta um, and can put a lot of pressure, especially with Dragon Tail. And then we have coverage in the back with Melmetal and then Lugia on the safe swap there. That is the premise behind this team. We're going to be checking out quite a few battles today. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, getting into this first battle here, we have Garchomp on the lead versus Dialga. This is one of those leads you want to bail out right away. We're going to go straight into Lugia right here, start getting ahead on energy, and they do bring in an Excadrill. Now, when it comes to this matchup, Lugia versus um, the Excadrill, if you can land this Aeroblast, you can flip this matchup. It's absolutely beautiful. Plus, what we're doing here when we're reading this team is they had a Dialga on the lead and an Excadrill on the back, which means they're going to need a pretty hard cover to ground or uh, to a ground type Pokemon so like Groudon for example so what we may see is something like a Giratina origin or another dragon or we may see a Kyogre so I'm gonna play that with this knowledge now we landed the Aeroblast right there delayed boom but we landed it and got the boost which Lugia on the safe swap is so so deadly you can pressure everything in this meta get yourself switch advantage back and as you can see we've already got dialga down to 30 percent of its hp that is absolutely phenomenal so we're gonna go ahead and bring in the melmetal right here i'm reading that there is a potentially a giratina origin or a kyogre in the back um garchomp can handle that and sure enough it is going to be a kyogre so we're going to swap right away into the garchomp and Dragon Tail just absolutely shreds. We don't need to mess around with trying to build up to Earth Power in this given situation because what we need to do is just shred with Dragon Tail. That's what's beautiful about Garchomp is Sand Tomb is going to be a low energy ground move that lowers the defenses of your opponent 100% chance. And Dragon Tail, as you can see, is absolutely shredding this thing apart. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to decide to no shield this. I think I can survive and I think I might be able to get off one more Dragon Tail. But we are going to be able to KO each other at the same time. So things are not looking too good. But with the health there on Dialga, Rock Slides are now going to be able to threaten. They are resisted, but they might be able to do enough chip damage. Plus, they want to fear getting one shot with superpower. So we will be getting shields, which is beautiful. We're going to go ahead and go for another one right here. Now, what I should have done right there is built up to two. Um, that way, they don't know what's coming because this is kind of obvious that's going to be a Rock Slide right there. So that's a misplay on me. But in order for them to take me out, they have to get to two Iron Heads, which they're not going to be able to do in time because of the energy gain from Melmetal. So we get the superpower, we take out the Dialga, and that is going to be a good game, very well played. Alright, moving into this next one. We have Garchomp on the lead versus Ho-Oh. Pretty decent matchup for us. Again, it's shredding apart with Dragon Tail. You guys are going to see how much this does. You don't necessarily need to shield the first charge move, but I sometimes like to um, because I might be able to farm down. Now, we're not going to fake going up for Earth Power. We're just going to go straight for the Sand Tomb because what we want to try to do is commit to the farm down right here. On top of that, if I see them go for Earthquake um, right here, I'm going to go ahead and shield, which is going to be an Earthquake. We're going to go ahead and just farm down, and then what I'm going to do is swap into Lugia right here to catch the next charge move. This is probably going to be a Brave Bird, considering how low the Ho-Oh is, but Brave Bird doesn't do too much damage to Lugia, as you can see. Plus, we saved a ton of vital energy there um, on the Garchomp, because what I'm reading here is they have Yvettel. Um, they have uh, Ho-Oh, so there might be something um, that can maybe counter dragons in the back. So maybe there's a Togekiss, um, maybe there is a, maybe a Dialga, and a debuff with Sand Tomb plus Melmetal could be very nice for us. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring in the Melmetal right here and start loading up on energy. I do have um, one shield left, which is de definitely necessary versus a Yvettel because of that Focus Blast. That's what we have to look out for is the Focus 
blast one shot so we will be giving up a shield if they build up to it which they definitely are i believe so i'm gonna go ahead and shield this first charge move i think i do yeah do shield the charge move it's going to be the dark pulse which is fine i'm going to go ahead and go for a superpower right now um this is a bit quicker when it comes to the energy and i don't think they're going to want to shield this right here but they do shield so i'm going to go ahead and swap into garchomp and fast move down but they swap into dialga which is beautiful this is why um like i said in the back i'm reading maybe toe kiss or dialga dialga makes more sense because then they need a better answer to melmetal um and we absolutely destroy the dialga right there plus this ho -Oh just its energy so i can fully farm down with dragon tail and this is going to be a good game we're going to go ahead and earth power the yavetal as well so we save when it comes to ho-oh teams we save our garchomp to be able to get those late game sweeps um if we can especially when we have that energy that is why i swap to that lugia all right moving to this next game we got garchomp versus toekiss this is going to be the hardest thing you face off against um, when it comes to team compositions um, so we're gonna go ahead and swap straight into lugia they swap into melmetal this is what you're typically gonna see you're gonna see a steel in the back either a excadrill or a melmetal is very common now for the third pokemon on their team they may run double steel or they may run um giratina origin is very very common the giratina origin one is tougher to face off against because what we're looking to do is try to sweep with melmetal late game um so if they run double steel and a token kiss we have a lot of play especially if we have a two shield or one to zero two to one shield advantage so we're gonna go ahead and let these rock slides go through we landed that arrow blast which is beautiful it's gonna do enough damage for us and hopefully i can get to the sky attack in time but i cannot so um win con here again we're hoping that there is going to be double steel in the back so we're going to bring in garchomp and sacrifice the health on garchomp because more health on garchomp just means more energy for togekiss to be able to farm down all i'm trying to use garchomp here is for um, debuffs with sand tomb um, and potential sack swap so we're going to let these superpowers go through it's perfectly fine with me i am trusting in melmetal to try to sweep this game for me so we're going to go ahead and farm down and then we're going to swap right away into the melmetal get ahead on energy but they have the Giratina Origin variant. This is very, very tough. This is worst case scenario what you guys want to see. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do our best to maintain the health on Melmetal here and look to try to get our switch clock back up. That is the only win condition that I can see. So I'm going to go ahead and just double shield. And my opponent knows that. So that means they can build up to Shadow Ball and just keep throwing ominous wins. I do not have enough health um in order to let a shadow ball go through so we're going to just keep throwing these rock slides they're letting them go which is perfectly fine by me they built up the shadow ball again i'm going to go ahead and shield we're just trying to waste time and maintain as much health as i can they threw another ominous win switch clock is coming back up if you guys can see that so i'm going to go ahead and swap right away and throw the sand tomb um, i could have i think i had earth power right there i could have thrown that because they're likely going to no shield this but they did decide to shield which is fine we are going to see toe kiss come in so again utilizing the low health on garchomp so that they can't farm me down for too much energy and having enough energy to throw that sand tomb because it's going to come in absolutely clutch when it comes to the energy here from melmetal so we're going to go ahead and build up to two rock slides we're going to throw this first one if they let this go through it's not going to be enough to ko and i will be able to farm down so they let it go through that means i'm going to be able to farm down right here and what i'm going to try to do is throw a super power first i don't know how much health giratina has i know it's in the yellow and i know it's close so i'm going to go a super power first we get a shield and then i need to go one more to try to get the rock slide granted the rock slide wouldn't have done enough damage right there maybe what i could have done differently there is undercharge um the rock slide against togekiss that way i can farm down a bit more but that is what you that's the toughest line that you can face and it's all about relying on melmetal um, and like I said, if they have double steel in the back, it's much more favorable. All right, so we got Giratina altered here on the lead. You want to stay in this matchup because Dragon Tail absolutely rips. It is so strong, especially when you Sand Tomb, and they typically don't shield a Sand Tomb. And we're not going to shield Dragon Claws as well. This is perfectly fine with me, as you saw. Dragon Claw didn't do too much damage. It is doing super effective, but we take those all day long. Sand Tomb lands, and you guys are about to see this thing just rips. And what you can do is just fully farm down. If you want to right here you can shield if you're seeing a lot of maybe mel metals in the back um, or what have you but we can no shield this because i know dragon tail is going to be enough to take it out that way they don't get too much farm in the back now what we're going to see come in is we're basically going to be throwing sand tomb right away i don't think i have earth power 
Um, so we will see. I don't ever probably we're gonna see a Dialga come in. This is perfectly fine for us. This is what Garchomp setup um, farm down on lead setup is for. You sand tomb it, they farm you down. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna go ahead and I believe I come in with Lugia right here. I might come in with a Melmetal, but I think I come in with a no, I come in with a Melmetal right here. Load up on energy. Um, Lugia as well with Dragon Tail can do really well against Dialga. You guys are gonna see that today. We're gonna go ahead and throw the superpower. I wanna just force shields from this player first. Um, they decide to let it go. That's perfectly fine by me. They swap into Kyogre. Now Dialga is still alive, right? You guys see that in the top right. Um, it's still alive. It has one HP in a dream, and I think it does probably have an iron head, so I have to be considerate about that. But with Lugia here, all I need to do is fear a potential thunder or blizzard. That is what you want to watch out for, especially at this health range. It won't KO, but it'll still do a ton. So we're going to go ahead and shield. They built up to it, and sure enough, they threw the thunder. That is a beautiful shield for us. And this is where Dragon Tail just starts ripping through in the raw bulk from a Lugia. Um, so this is probably going to get the second shield from them. No, they decide to let it go. That's perfectly fine by me that Dialga has no HP. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this go through. Um, there's really no reason to shield unless I didn't decide to shield. No, I let it go. Um, the Surf is barely going to be enough to take us out. I swap into the Melmetal to get ahead on energy. Um, that way I have double superpowers, but they did decide to surrender. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. All right, moving into this next one. We have Garchomp on the lead versus Giratina Origin this time. Same thing. You can just absolutely destroy this thing. It's beautiful. Look at how much damage, Dragon. Oh my gosh. You can eat this thing left, right, and center. And I love seeing them on the lead, especially when they don't swap out. They, a lot of players may think that the Shadow Claw Shadow Ball variant is going to be strong, but nothing rips apart a Giratina Origin like a Garchomp Dragon Tail Sand Tomb. So we're going to go ahead and shield right here. They did build up to Shadow Ball. It was just an ominous win, but because we landed the Sand Tomb, I might actually be able to fully farm down, which I don't right there. It's unfortunate, and I think I can survive the Shadow Ball, so I'm going to go ahead and let this go. It is Shadow Ball. We can survive. Beautiful. So we farmed that thing down. We have a Sand Tomb ready to go. Here comes a Togekiss. So we are going to throw Sand Tomb to debuff it right here. Then we're going to come in with that um, Melmetal. Now I'm guessing they have probably a Dialga in the back. Um, so we will have to see. It's going to be an Excadrill actually. So this is still going to be a tough matchup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to I'm going to have to really dance myself around with a Melmetal here. We're going to go ahead and shield that first drill run. It's obviously going to do a ton of super effective damage. And I'm going to go ahead and throw super power. And then I'm going straight into Lugia trying to catch the drill run. But they let it go. They had two shields right there. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and swap into Lugia. They don't throw it. Um, so they are holding onto the energy. But letting a superpower go through like that is devastating especially when their only answer in the back is going to be a toy kiss but it's not over yet the toy kiss does have two shields to zero shields right here now our melmetal still has a lot of health and a decent amount of energy so what i need to do is force shields that is what this lugia is about we're throwing that arrow blast right away we do get a shield that now sets us up in a pretty solid win condition here with melmetal and rock slides because we already have one ready the ancient power is going to get us low um, they don't get the boost right there thank goodness that's the last thing we need um, but hopefully this toy kiss doesn't have enough energy in order to take us out so we do have one rock slide ready to go and we're going to go ahead and throw the first one right here trying to stop them from sneaking through a fast attack this first rock slide will obviously get the shield from our opponent they decide to let it go okay all right so we're just going to go ahead and just commit to the farm down hopefully this flamethrower doesn't take us out i did sneak through a fast move right there so the flamethrower gets us extremely low but the fast move got through and took it down and that is going to be a good battle very well played all right moving into this next battle we have garchomp versus groudon on the lead um, when it comes to these matchups um, especially when it's dragon tail what i like to do is stay in this fight build up to earth power and then go for the sand tomb now in this matchup this is where i learned going for earth power these groudons most groudons here especially at this rating shield so you can throw that sand tomb all day long um, so you're going to get the shield anyways and you're going to debuff them but what i'm perfectly fine with is farming this thing down with a lugia because this is probably their hardest answer to a melmetal um, so we do see a Dialga now come in, a shiny one. So pretty cool catch right there. 
we're gonna go ahead and let them throw that first charge move um, what's really uh, iffy here on Melmetal and we do shield the thunder as well is if we throw superpower and then they throw the thunder or Draco meteor that's what's really devastating especially if you decide not to shield but right here we're just gonna throw superpowers it lands so that's beautiful we're gonna go ahead and build up some more go for another superpower now this is going to take out the dialga or get the final shield if we get that final shield then lugia is looking pretty strong to close this game out we take out the dialga so now it's a one-to-one -one still um this groudon as well has multiple fire punches ready to go we're gonna let this go through it's gonna hurt but we can survive barely one hp in a dream and we're gonna throw another superpower just to do chip damage and take out this groudon now they let it go and they swap out into togekiss so this is very tough right here. Lugia's win condition is building up to Arrow Blast, getting a shield bait with Sky Attack, and then landing said Arrow Blast. So we're going to go ahead and throw the Sky Attack right here. We did build up, so we can threaten the shield right here if we do get it we do this is beautiful this is now our win condition so all we need to do is safely shield their ancient power which is probably going to be the hardest hitting thing left um, but they decided not to throw energy so that's fine by me i get to this arrow blast this is going to boom them kaboom it does so much damage and we get the attack boost so we farm down and that is going to be a good battle very well played moving into this next battle we have garchomp on the lead versus metagross all right pretty decent matchup for us um, again, we have Sandtomb and they do decide to swap into Lugia. So what I'm actually going to do is build up a little bit more. That way I have, um, I'm close enough to Sandtomb. I should have probably done one more to get to Sandtomb, but, um, have the Sandtomb ready to go for the Metagross when we face off against it again. We're coming straight into Melmetal here, a solid counter to Lugia. Um, you guys saw how much damage Aeroblast did to an Excadrill. Melmetal can tank an Aeroblast, so you don't necessarily have to shield right here. So I'm going to go ahead and let it hit me. It does a decent amount, but we can easily kind of throttle this matchup and throw Rock Slides um, at the point where I have enough energy for multiple charge moves versus Metagross when it comes back in. So we throw this Rock Slide. We get it low. We're going to be able to farm down, but they do get to a Sky Attack. Now, we don't need to shield right here. We can survive a Sky Attack. Your Mo Metal can survive this. Um, and they decide actually to undercharge it, which is perfectly fine. It would have been even closer, but they undercharge it so they can farm me down with Metagross to get a lot of energy. But what I'm going to do to counteract this is I'm just going to st start throwing these superpowers. This does neutral damage and it's going to be getting shields. We're going to go ahead and build up to another one um, and just keep throwing them. Now, Meteor Mash is a move you kind of have to watch out for. It still does quite a bit of neutral damage versus Garchomp. But we're just going to keep throwing these superpowers, able to get three off right here. This means we got a shield from the Metagross. We got it low, um, and we will have to see what they have in the back. But that's, that's pretty solid for us right here. Now, this is where I wish um, I had a Sand Tomb ready to go because I could just throw it right away. Um, but, excuse me. We're going to go ahead and come in, and they do swap right away into Dragonite, which is perfectly fine because we have Lugia, and this is why Lugia on Dragon Tail is so strong. It can do well against all of the dragons. It still does well against stuff like Excadrill, Kyogre, Groudon. Lugia has been, like, such an amazing investment. They decide to no-shield right, right there because they don't have a win condition left, and that is going to be a good battle, very well played. All right, moving to this next one, we got Garchomp versus Melmetal on the lead. I've noticed a lot of Melmetals don't switch out right away. They have an opportunity to gain a lot of energy right here. And you don't have to worry about superpowers on Garchomp. It doesn't do too much damage. Now, Melmetals can get greedy. Melmetal, including myself, you get really greedy and you don't shield. Boom! We get that thing so low. This happened a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I wish I could just show you guys a montage of the amount of earth powers that landed versus Melmetal leads right there. Typically what will happen, they'll throw double superpowers and bail. Um, but now with Mewtwo coming into this matchup, Garchomp can shred through Mewtwo as well. We're going for the Sand Tomb Dragon Tail combination here. So we're going to go ahead and just throw it. We're going to swap into Lugia as well to catch that charge move because it was slightly delayed by one turn, which means we can catch the Psy Strike if they throw it, which they did. Now, Yvettel comes in. Um, which is kind of tough because it does have access to Snarl and Dark Pulse, but Lugia is so bulky that it can actually tank a Dark Pulse right here, which is beautiful, and they won't be able to fully farm me down. 
um, or actually they can fully farm me down, but not enough where I can't get this thing low, right? We still have me, um, Melmetal in the back for us. Now I decided not to shield right there, so hopefully I can get to one more Sky Attack, which I do, which this then forces a shield from them. If they let this go, I think it's going to KO them. So here comes that Sky Attack. They do decide to shield, so that is beautiful. So they committed to the farm down, but they lost a ton of health in the process. Now I know my win condition right here. You guys may see it as well. It's two shields into Garchomp with Dragon Tail versus Mewtwo. Um, so we're going to go ahead and let these charge moves go through no matter what they throw. If this is a focus blast right here, so be it. My wing can do Dragon Tail can two shot this Yvetal right here. It's going to be another Dark Pulse. Just shield baits and we're totally fine. I'm going to expect them to swap, but they don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this Rock Slide. If this gets a shield, I'm swapping right away into Garchomp. So they let it go. I'm going to go ahead and swap right away. And Dragon Tail right here is just going to finish this game off nicely for me. I do have two shields. Um, so it's definitely very advantageous for us. Again... Garchomp with Dragon Tail, I think it's been the MVP for me of this meta, and with um, Lugia as well getting access to a, bu a boosted Dragon Tail and Aeroblast, it's such a nice safe swap. So all we need to do is shield here and farm down, and that is going to be a good battle, very well played. All right. Moving to this next one, we have Garchomp on the lead versus Garchomp. All right, mirror match. So I'm also expecting they may have similar combinations in the back, which means Melmetal is kind of my win condition here. So I need to be saving shields for it. So we're both going to go for Sand Tomb. I get mine off first. Um, we may have CMP, t well, I mean, obviously CMP tied right there, but I think mine is best buddy. Yeah, I have, do have a best buddy Garchomp, um, and they don't, so we win that, which is perfectly fine by me. I'm going to go ahead and let this go. There's no reason to shield this. We're both going to KO each other at the same time, as you guys can see. So now, um, because Melmetal is my win condition, I also want as much energy as I can get on Melmetal because I still utilize Lugia as a safe swap. So we're going to come in with it. They have Excadrill versus Melmetal. This is very tough. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shield right here. This is obviously, it's obviously going to hurt. It's a drill run, but my win condition now is to try to catch a drill run on Lugia. That would be very advantageous for me. So we're going to go ahead and throw the superpower. They shield as well. We're going to build up and then we're going to swap on five. So we both swap or I swap. They decide to stay in and overload on energy. So maybe they actually don't have an answer for Lugia. Another answer for Lugia in the back. So they are going to throw a rock side here. That's fine by me. It doesn't do too much damage. I'm not really threatened. They're going to have to get off three and a half basically but we do see a lugia now coming in the mirror and they're shiny flexing on me but i'm aeroblast flexing on them right here they're gonna let this thing go through that lands for a ton of damage no boost however but now we are in a really nice situation where i can let my lugia go down and come in and absolutely load up with energy um, on melmetal here so i'm gonna go ahead and throw the sky attack they let it go that's perfectly fine by me. I'm going to go ahead and let this thing go through. And because our switch clocks are out of sync, they're energy dry. I'm swapping right now and I'm farming down. They're not energy dry. They don't have enough energy for Aeroblast is what I meant. Um, they're going to go ahead and throw the sky attack right away. And I'm just going to farm this thing down. I get all of the energy in the world. I still have a shield. We're going to go ahead and sh we have to shield right here. Excadrill, I think, is at 9 mud shots which means drill run they're not going to have enough energy to get to another one so i do throw the rock side right here so hopefully the only way i win this is if they shield it which they do they're at nine so or at four mud shots now and they need five so we get the superpower right here this is going to be taking out the excadrill and then lugia is going to go down to one fast move and that is going to be a good battle very well played very tough one right there um but basically i think they un didn't load up enough energy all right so we got another dialga on the lead we're gonna go ahead and swap right away into lugia get ahead on energy this is very nice they're deciding to stay into it which tells me they don't really have an answer for lugia in the back which also means garchomp might do a bit better or they have a togekiss in the back that's the two different things either they have a togekiss in the back line we're not going to shield as well or they have something like Giratina Origin, which we can Aeroblast right here. This does so much damage if it lands, so they will likely be shielding and try to commit to the farm down. So they do shield. That's fine by me. They're going to go ahead and farm down, but I will be absolutely shred this thing apart and get to a Sky Attack. Now, they decide to throw energy. That was a mistake by my opponent. I need to capitalize on that. 
not every game yourself you or your opponent are going to be playing perfectly they made a mistake right there by not farming down so i'm going to come back in with garchomp and tear this thing apart what i can do right here is basically i'm going to go ahead i think i decide to let this go yeah i do decide to let this go it's going to be an ominous win their win condition is try to ominous win shield bait and then throw a shadow ball so what i'm going to do now is just commit to the hard farm because i have so much energy for that dialga if it comes back in um, and we are going to go ahead and shield the potential Shadow Ball because it would KO me otherwise. Now we are going to see a Kyogre come in. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Earth Power. I want to chunk the health right now. I could have gone for Sand Tomb, but ultimately I want that damage to be put out. And my win conditions with Melmetal, you guys can kind of see it. We're going to go ahead and go for Sand Tomb right here. This is going to debuff um, the Kyogre. Um, and I think Dialga doesn't have too much energy. I think they did decide to throw and they swap into Dialga, which is perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in Melmetal. This is going to be a good game. I just throw the superpower right here. This is going to take out Dialga and then Kyogre is low and that is going to be a GG's right there. So again, um, if they don't swap out right away, you can take advantage of that with the switch lock, a different switch lock. Um, and have Lu that Lugia safe swap is just so strong. All right, so we got Melmetal on the lead again. Um, very advantageous for us. Now they swap into Sylveon, and I make a mistake. I bring in Melmetal. Whenever someone leads with Melmetal and they swap in a Sylveon or another Charmer, they are running double charm in the back. This is what I have noticed. There is a Togekiss in the back. So because I misclicked and I went for Melmetal um, instead of Lugia, I have to keep this Melmetal alive. This is what I've learned as I've been climbing. I'm going to have to shield the Moonblast, even though it hurts, or it doesn't hurt, it's resisted. It's going to do enough damage where I will be threatened endgame. So what I have to do here is keep my Melmetal alive to take out their Togekiss in the back. We are going to overload on energy and go ahead and throw a Rock Slide right here to take out the Sylveon. And then what I'm also going to have to do is swap um, into Lugia to draw out that Togekiss. And that way I can keep it away from Garchomp. So you guys are going to see Melmetal come in. I'm going to go ahead and throw a superpower right here. This is likely going to be getting a shield for my opponent. And I'm going to swap instantly into Lugia. So we do get the shield. We go into Lugia. They swap instantly right away into Togekiss. They have now fallen into my trap. Because now Togekiss is locked in versus Lugia. Garchomp is now going to be locked in versus Melmetal. And my Melmetal can come in and take out the Togekiss if Lugia goes. Or if Lugia can't. Um, so we do go for straight for Aeroblast right here. We want to get the final shield or destroy the health of this Togekiss. We do get the final shield, so that is fine with me. And they are going to be able to farm down, not before we can get to a Sky Attack, though. This extra neutral damage is so helpful um, for our Melmetal to close, um, to close out. So they are going to be low enough, basically, for a Rock Slide to take them out. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the Melmetal. Now, again, what are they going to do right here, everyone? They're going to throw this Flamethrower, and they're going to swap straight into Melmetal. So I'm going to swap right away as well. Because they have Super Power loaded, they wanted to try to catch me off guard. But as you play, you start to see the opponent's win conditions and can predict what they're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and just let these Super Powers hit us. That is fine by me. And I'm just going to throw Sand Tombs right here. You may be asking, well, why not um, Super? Why not Earth Power one-shot uh, the Melmetal? It's because I don't want Togekiss to come in and farm me down for a ton of energy. So I will actually let my Garchomp die in, <laughs> in order to try to secure a win for this game. Because we're just going to drag or, uh, Dragon Tail this thing down. More Super Powers coming through. This Melmetal is completely debuffed. It's not doing any damage to us. It is still doing damage to us. But we get this thing extremely low and it's able to throw another one. This thing had so much loaded energy. So what we're going to do now is come in with our Melmetal. Um, we almost have a Rock Slide. We're going to go ahead and farm down. And then we're going to throw Rock Slide right away versus Togekiss. They don't have enough energy. They just dumped it all. They're at three Thunder Shocks. And they need um, five, uh, five to get to... Uh, um, the next superpower and that is going to be a good game very well played so very strong strategy with the double charmers in the back but if you read that um, play it accordingly so we were able to go 4-1 in our final set at 29.89 um, and climb up to legend on top of that we also got Z uh <laughs> zacion zacion we got the S doggo sordo sordago um, which is awesome not too good of ivs but 
that is okay we're able to get that and climb to legend so uh this was a very lengthy video i hope you guys enjoy this team it's a ton of fun and again the hardest team that i faced off against that was pretty tough to fa to to defeat um was togekiss um and then a counter to lugia so like excadrill or melmetal uh, melmetal being a bit better and then garatina origin or double steel if it's double steel you can hit you can uh try to win end game with melmetal but hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one